ignition system. Learning objectives. At the end of this topic, you will be able to describe battery ignition system, explain about ignition coil, define contact breakers and spark plug, describe about the magneto coil and breaker point ignition system, explain electronic ignition system, describe triggering devices and wheels, explain about centrifugal spark advanced mechanism, explain vacuum spark advanced mechanism. Outcomes. By the end of this topic, you will be able to describe the functions of ignition system, list out the types of ignition system, describe the constructional features of ignition system, working principle of battery, contact breaker and condenser, understand spark plug and ignition system, explain the breaker point system, explain the methods of advanced and retard spark ignition. We will now see the basic introduction to ignition system. In case of petrol engines, during suction operation, charge of air and petrol fuel will be taken in. During compression, this charge is compressed by the upward moving piston. And just before the end of compression, the charge of air and petrol fuel will be ignited by means of the spark produced by means of the spark plug and the ignition system does the function of producing the spark in case of spark ignition engines. We will now discuss the functions of an ignition system. It produces 30,000 volt spark across spark plug. It distributes high voltage spark to each spark plug in correct sequence. Ideal location of spark plug is near exhaust valve. It varies spark timing with load, speed and other conditions. We shall now discuss about the basic ignition system. Battery supplies power to the entire system. Ignition switch turns engine on or off. Coil transforms volts. Switching device triggers ignition coil. Spark plug and wires distribute spark. Types of ignition system. There are three types of ignition systems that are generally used. They are battery ignition system, magneto coil ignition system, electronic ignition system. Battery ignition system. Battery ignition system is used in a majority of spark ignition engines today. In battery ignition system, the energy required to generate the spark is provided by a battery, 6 volts or 12 volts. The main components of the battery ignition system are battery, provide the power required for the spark production, ignition switch, used to turn on and off the ignition system, capacitor. It consists of two metal plates separated by an insulating material. Ballast resistor. It regulates the primary current through the primary winding. It is provided for protecting the spark plug from damage due to overheating. Battery ignition system. Spark plug. It has two electrodes separated by an adequate gap. Distributor. It distributes the ignition surges to the spark plugs in the correct firing order. Contact breaker. It's a mechanical member to make and break the primary circuit. Ignition coil. It stores the energy in its magnetic field and delivers it at the required time to the spark plug. Systematical view for battery ignition system.
We shall now see the constructional features of ignition system. Constructional features. The ignition system is divided into two circuits. Primary circuit, low voltage, battery. Secondary circuit, high voltage, spark. Primary windings are made up of several hundred turns of heavy wire wrapped around or near the secondary windings. It consists of 6 or 12 volt battery, ammeter, ignition switch, primary winding. It has 200 to 300 turns of 20 SWG, Sharps wire gauge, gauge wire, contact breaker, capacitor. Secondary windings consist of several thousand turns of very fine wire located inside or near the secondary windings. It distributes current to individual cylinders to jump spark plug gap. It must have thicker, heavier insulation on wires. Typical voltage to jump gap, 10,000 volts. Ignition coil. Working of battery, contact breaker points and condenser. The battery establishes a large current in the low resistance primary coil. The points are opened by cam action to quickly interrupt the current in the primary coil. Many turns on the secondary coil compared to the primary coil forms a transformer with a large multiplication of voltage. Large voltage spike applied to spark plug. The capacitor or condenser helps to handle the surge of voltage from the switch action which might otherwise cause sparking across the points. The sudden change in magnetic field in the primary from the switching off of the current induces a very high voltage in the secondary coil by Faraday's law. Contact breakers Contact breakers require to make contact or break contact of the primary circuit of ignition system. It consists of two contact breaker points. One point remains fixed while the other can move. A cam is used to move the movable point. As the cam moves, the contact is made and broken alternately. Primary circuit breaks when the breaker points open. Magnetic field collapses due to this. This produces high voltage current in the secondary winding, which is supplied to the distributor. This current is distributed to proper spark plug, where it produces spark for ignition of fuel-air mixture. Contact breakers Condenser. The function of the condenser in the ignition system is to absorb and store the inductive current generated in the coil. If the condenser is not provided, the induced current will cause arcing at the breaker points. This will cause burning of the breaker points. Ignition system. Park plug. It provides the electrodes in the combustion chamber, at which the high voltage produces the spark for igniting the mixture. It is designed to operate under 20,000 to 30,000 volts and withstand pressure as high as 42 bar. Ceramic body is designed to withstand high voltages, temperatures and pressures. Center electrode is fastened to the ceramic body. Upper end of the center electrode is connected to the spark plug wire terminal and lower projects beyond the insulator to form a gap with the ground electrode. High voltage is made to travel down the center electrode and across the gap to the ground electrode to complete the secondary circuit. The gap needs to be set correctly. Too wide and the spark won't jump the gap. Too close and the spark may not be big enough to initiate combustion. Spark plug. The gap can increase due to erosion and could be bridged by contaminants as a result of the combustion process. Regular cleaning and gap adjustment is necessary. Magneto coil ignition system. Magneto ignition system can work without the help of the storage battery. The current required for ignition is generated within the system by virtue of electromagnetic induction. Magneto ignition system is suitable for vehicles where total weight and accommodating space are constraints. Example, two wheelers and racing cars.
The essential components of a magneto ignition system are the magneto system to provide the magnetic field, the contact breaker to provide the primary circuit when the current flow is at its maximum. Pitting is forming of small or minute holes due to hot places in the cylinder. The rotor arm to direct the spark surge to each spark plug in the correct sequence for the combustion stroke. Advantages Better reliability due to absence of battery and low maintenance. Better suited for medium and high speed engines. Modern magneto systems are more compact, therefore require less space. Disadvantages Adjustment of spark timings adversely affects the voltage. Burning of electrodes is possible at high engine speeds due to high voltage. Cost is more than that of battery ignition systems. Now we move on to discuss about breaker point ignition systems. It was used on engines until 1981 which consisted of armature, points and condenser. Breaker point ignition systems When points are closed, magnetic field builds up in primary winding. When points open, magnetic field in primary winding collapses through secondary winding. This creates enough voltage to fire the spark plug. Electronic Ignition System The basic difference between the contact point and the electronic ignition system is in the primary circuit. The primary circuit in a contact point ignition system is open and closed by contact points. In the electronic system, the primary circuit is open and closed by the electronic control unit, ECU. The secondary circuits are practically the same for the two systems. The difference is that the distributor, ignition coil and wiring are altered to handle high voltage produced by the electronic ignition system. One advantage of this higher voltage, up to 60,000 volts, is that spark plugs with wider gaps can be used. This results in a longer spark which can ignite leaner air fuel mixtures. As a result, engines can run on leaner mixtures for better fuel economy and lower emissions. The components of an electronic ignition system, regardless of the manufacturer, all perform the same functions. Each manufacturer has its own preferred terminology and location of the components. The basic components of an electronic ignition system are as follows. Trigger wheel The trigger wheel also known as a reluctor, pole piece or armature, is connected to the upper end of the distributor shaft. The trigger wheel replaces the distributor cam. Like the distributor cam lobes, the teeth on the trigger wheel equal the number of engine cylinders. Pickup coil The pickup coil, also known as a sensor assembly, sensor coil or magnetic pickup assembly, produces tiny voltage surges for the ignition system's electronic control unit. The pickup coil is a small set of windings forming a coil. Electronic Control Unit Amplifier The ignition system, electronic control unit amplifier or control module is an electronic switch that turns the ignition coil primary current on and off. The ECU performs the same function as the contact points. The ignition ECU is a network of transistors capacitors, resistors and other electronic components sealed in a metal or plastic housing. The ECU can be located in the engine compartment on the side of the distributor, inside the distributor or under the vehicle dash. ECU dwell time, number of degrees the circuit conducts current to the ignition coil, is designed into the electronic circuit of the ECU and is not adjustable. We shall now discuss about electronic ignition system operation. With the engine running, the trigger wheel rotates inside the distributor. As a tooth of the trigger wheel passes the pickup coil, the magnetic field strengthens around the pickup coil. This action changes the output voltage or current flow through the coil. As a result, an electrical surge is sent to the electronic control unit as the trigger wheel teeth past the pickup coil. The electronic control unit increases the electrical surges into on 
or off cycles for the ignition coil. When the ECU is on, the current passes through the primary windings of the ignition coil, thereby developing a magnetic field. Then, when the trigger wheel and pickup coil turn off the ECU, the magnetic field inside the ignition coil collapses and fires a spark plug. Advantages of Electronic Ignition System Following are the advantages of electronic ignition system. Moving parts are absent, so no maintenance. Contact breaker points are absent, so no arcing. Spark plug life increases by 50% and they can be used for about 60,000 kilometers without any problem. Better combustion and combustion chamber. About 90-95% to of air fuel mixture is burnt compared with 70-75% to with conventional ignition system. Triggering devices. Contact points used before 1975 used to connect and disconnect current flow in primary circuit parts. Stationary point. Connect to ground. Movable breaker point. Connected to insulated side. Rubbing block opens and closes points by a cam lobe. Breaker arm spring pushes points together. Point gap is measured when the rubbing block is on the highest part of the cam lobe. 0.018 to 0.022. Trigger wheels. Most of the new cars use a trigger wheel can be called a reluctor or pole piece. They have one tooth for each cylinder of the engine. The reluctor lines up with a pickup coil as it turns around. This changes the magnetic field in the pickup coil. When the magnetic field changes, it changes the current flow in the pickup coil and that is noticed by the ignition control module or ECU electronic control module. We shall now discuss about ignition advance and retard mechanism. Ignition advance. Ignition occurs before the piston reaches TDC, the spark is said to be advanced. If the spark is advanced too much, compression work increases as the piston has to compress expanding burnt gases. Spark retard. Retarded spark occurs when the compression stroke is more nearly complete at the time when ignition occurs. If ignition is retarded too much, then the combustion of fuel-air mixture charge will continue during power stroke, expansion stroke. Therefore, peak pressures will not be developed when the piston is near the TDC. Consequently, work output of the engine will decrease. Methods to advance and retard spark ignition consists of Centrifugal spark advance mechanism Vacuum spark advance mechanism Centrifugal spark advance mechanism this mechanism consists of two flyweights, a base plate, cam, and a spring. Flyweights are also called advance weights. The base plate is fixed to the drive shaft. The flyweights are rotated by distributor drive shaft through the base plate. The weights are pivoted on the base plate and also attached to the cam with the help of springs. The cam is also joined with the distributor shaft through springs, flywheel, and plate. If engine speed increases, the flyweights are displaced out radially due to centrifugal force acting on it. Movement of weights causes the ignition advance, spark advance. As the engine slows down, the springs attached to the weights overcome the decreased centrifugal force, which tends to keep them in the outer position, thus retarding the spark. Vacuum spark advance mechanism. It consists of a diaphragm whose movement automatically advances and retards the spark speed of the engine and other operating conditions. One side of the diaphragm is connected to the induction manifold and the other side is connected to the atmosphere. The diaphragm is connected to the distributor through a linkage. With increase of engine speed, decreases the pressure on one side of the diaphragm. This change in pressure controls the movement of diaphragm which ultimately controls the ignition timings. At normal position of diaphragm, the ignition timing is set at a fully retarded position. As engine speed increases, the ignition timings are advanced. 
vacuum unit produces the greatest advance when the vehicle is cruising. The centrifugal unit when the engine speed is increased to a set maximum. The combination of centrifugal and vacuum gives the engine practically perfect spark timing for all driving conditions. Summary Let's summarize. There are three types of ignition systems that are generally used. They are battery ignition system, magneto ignition system, electronic ignition system. In battery ignition system, the energy required to generate the spark is provided by a battery 6 volts or 12 volts. Magneto ignition system can work without the help of the storage battery. The current required for ignition is generated within the system by virtue of electromagnetic induction. The ignition system is divided into two circuits. Primary circuit, low voltage, battery. Secondary circuit, high voltage, spark. The ignition system, electronic control unit amplifier or control module, is an electronic switch that turns the ignition coil primary current on and off. Triggering devices used to connect and disconnect current flow in primary circuit parts. Most new cars use a trigger wheel, can be called a reluctor or pole piece. They have one tooth for each cylinder of the engine. Methods to advance and retard spark ignition consists of centrifugal spark advance mechanism. This mechanism consists of two flyweights, a base plate, cam and a spring. Flyweights are also called advance weights. Vacuum spark advance mechanism. It consists of a diaphragm whose movement automatically advances and retards the spark speed of the engine and other operating conditions.